Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology here on Educator.com. This unit we're going to be looking at personality, not just uh, what personality is, but also different viewpoints of personality through, uh, through the 20th century and into the 21st century. First, uh, you need to know that personality is going to be 5 to 7 percent on your AP Psych exam. So that's 5 to 7 multiple choice questions that you will be looking at uh, that deals with these particular topics. And so here we're going to be looking at personality theories, approaches on how to understand personality, assessment techniques, how to measure personality, and then growth and adjustment throughout the, uh, one, uh, an individual's life. So in this section we'll be looking at major theories of how humans develop enduring patterns of behavior and personal characteristics that influence how others relate to them. Because of course, as you know, we don't just uh, respond to generic situations, we also respond to the individual personalities that individuals have. And we're also going to be taking a look at the research methods in this unit. Objectives, we're going to do a compare and contrast to the major theories, and these are the ones, psychoanalytic, humanist, cognitive, trait, social learning, and behavioral. We're going to be looking at the research methods, doing a little comparing with those, and going to be uh, becoming familiar with things like the MMPI, the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, the TAT, the Thematic Apperception Test, and evaluate their relative quality based on reliability and validity of those particular tests. Additionally, we're going to look at cultural context, because one of the things that we cannot do is distinguish an individual from his or her culture and cultures shape, mold, and modify an individual's personality in ways that we wouldn't necessarily think of them. And so how uh, cultural context can facilitate or constrain personality development, especially as it relates to, relates to self-concept. And then some of the people you need to know are going to be Adler, Bandura, Costa, and McRae with the trait theory coming up, Sigmund Freud, the one you've been waiting for in this course, Carl Jung, one of his disciples, Maslow and Rogers, two of the humanistic psychologists that we've looked at before and look at a little more in-depth in this particular unit.